MOA chapters make a difference. The MOA Southeastern Wisconsin chapter has been using the Community Outreach Grant to support Camp Hometown Heroes. The camp is a free week-long overnight summer camp for the children of fallen U.S. service members. We're beyond small. <laughs> There's just a couple of us. I'm Director of Outreach. I've been involved from the beginning, yeah. Uh, we started in 2013 with 62 kids from 14 states. I have all these numbers in my head. And it gradually grew in the very first year that we did it, um, because we were a new camp, we just kind of went out on Facebook and said, in memory of, or in honor of, and then we threw this out to the parents. And as a parent, I don't know that I would have sent my kid cold to a camp like this, especially from somewhere like Hawaii. We had a woman who put her two girls on a plane from Hawaii. But these military kids, there's just something about them. They have a composure despite everything they've been through. And so since that time, we have not had to promote, advertise at all because the families just talk to each other. And they say, this has made a huge difference in my kid's life. You need to send your kid. It's a typical summer camp. They do archery and fishing and swimming and biking. And uh, we have an alpine tower and rock wall climbing. So they do the typical summer camp things and they have a good time. But the most important thing I think that we do is offer them grief therapy because a lot of the kids come to us not having dealt with this loss in their life. I mean, this lifelong loss. And so they get comfortable having fun, number one, but they're also comfortable because when they get there, they realize all the rest of the kids know exactly how they feel. Uh, the more I saw the, the type of kids that were involved, the staff, um, how dedicated they were. I thought this this is really something worthwhile. And uh, as time went on, MOA began offering opportunity to uh, provide grant money to assist community uh, service organizations like that. And especially since this is for the uh, children, I thought, well, this is something I'd like to be involved in. And at the time I was the uh, uh, president of our chapter. So I went to the board and I said, well, what do you think? I got their approval, and so then we uh, applied for the grant. So I think the first year we got a grant for $4,000, and uh, but part of MOA's uh, concern was that they wanted to make sure that we were actually involved with these groups. So that meant that we had to actually become uh, in contact with them, and so what we did is we went out to the camp. Uh, there were um, eight cabins out there, four of them were older cabins, and they really had a need to upgrade them. So we put in what I call sweat equity by going in there and demolishing, ripping out things so that they could then take the grant money and reinstall new fixtures that would really be a, a, an upgrade to the camp experience for the campers. Let me say, we could not do what we do without groups like MOA because if we didn't have them to do this, we'd be paying somebody to do it. Not to mention the enthusiasm they bring, you know, and the improvements that, we, that they've made at camp. And these grants are fantastic because they allow local chapters like ours and others across the country to um, interact with the community and interact with veterans, and that not only the military community, but also civilian community. Um, and this um, is, like I say, really great, and it provides uh, you know, essentially, these grants that we get are essentially equal to our, or greater than our budget for the, pro, you know, for the chapter for the year. And so it's the type of thing that we couldn't support without the grants from National. I think Moa got involved because of Rusty. I mean, he just volunteered um, to come out to the airport, and he saw what we did. And this is what happens when people see what we're doing you're just drawn in because you know the difference that it makes. And so we are so lucky that they are, it's ongoing support from MOA. It's not, they just didn't come in and do it one time and then leave. And that's what makes a difference too. Because if we didn't have people like them, groups like them, we couldn't keep up this camp. I, it's, it can be expensive to run. Um, but again, the fact that they do this, this sweat equity that they give us, makes a big difference. Um, MOA, I think, is a very worthwhile organization for any officer or warrant officer who's ever served in the military in any branch uh, to belong to a MOA as a national organization or if you'd like to be belong to the local chapter. 
So it, it's an opportunity for us to give back to the community, to have camaraderie with other officers, um, to uh, uh, share stories and, and that type of thing. And uh, we think it's, uh, it's very worthwhile because we do back a lot of very positive legislative efforts to protect all kinds of veterans, not just officers, but enlisted and NCOs uh, and their families. Uh, so we, we try to stand up for those things. Fewer and fewer people on Capitol Hill are military veterans. So they don't understand, um, in many cases, what the families of the military veterans have experienced. And MOA is a great organization for making that message, taking that message to Capitol Hill. On the uh, state level, at the chapter level, uh, these are great guys, uh, not just guys. Uh, uh, these, you know, the officers that you know, retired officers that we have on the uh, chapter in the chapter, and, and they are great, and they are dedicated to uh, continuing to serve. I, I, I might get a little bit, <laughs> uh, you know, archaic wants to say that all the time, but that, that is that's the way we feel. And, and so what the chapter does is it gives us a focus point for continuing to serve. 